if yesterday was any indication, it's going to be pretty busy over there. Back at Horror Hound. It's been four or five years. Upgraded to early entry. 20 bucks this year. Chad just looked at me. <laughs> Talking to myself. Okay, I referenced both the things I'm going to talk about here real quick later in this video. Um, one is a rough start. We got in, immediately went to get Bonnie Aaron's autograph. Uh, well, my uh, cousin's wife there was getting it. And she makes these uh, horror dolls. And she had one of the nuns she wanted to give her. So I uh, took a video of her giving that doll to uh, Bonnie. Just, you know, kind of a keepsake. See her reaction to it. She was pretty excited to see it. It's like, oh, you made this? You know, she was pretty excited. But she was not at all excited about me taking a video of her so i get you know i should have asked so she said if uh you know that keeps happening she's not going to do conventions anymore so if we never see her at another convention it, it's it is my fault but my, i i want to be respectful and uh say i'm sorry to her and if she ever sees us just know i'm sorry and uh, kind of made a rough start to the convention, but that's what that was. It's only Friday here. There's Freddy. And this place is packed. I've never seen it this packed on Friday. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring here at Horror Hound. Waiting outside of Bruce Campbell's room right now. Just watching the people walk by. It's uh, Dale and, and, and Tucker versus Evil. Yeah, maybe it was okay. That's a free port in there. But yeah, some pretty cool cosplay so far. And uh, met Doug Bradley, got a picture of him. Looks like horrible in the picture as usual. Well, I'll show that now. So, uh, what did you think about that? <laughs> it's something kind of a rough start. Oh, uh, if I haven't explained that already, I just can do that now with some B-roll. It just keeps getting deeper and deeper into the day here. And more and more people. This is amazing for Friday. I've never seen it this busy on Friday, so good sign that cons are back. All right, ready for day two. I don't know, I'll have to play this back if you can hear me through this mask. But day two, if yesterday was any indication, it's gonna be pretty busy over there. So, be an interesting day, should get a lot of good picks. And tonight, they got a cool concert we're gonna go to. Clipper making his appearance. Of course, one of the best things about conventions is the merchandise booths. Caught up with a really cool one here at Horror Hound this year. All Hallows Eve Terror Town. They said they got several places uh, around, I don't know if they're only in Ohio, I don't remember, but talk to him and uh, let's see what he has to say about his business. Just uh, kind of tell me about your 
business here? And yeah, so is? we are a 19th century venue. We're located here in Waynesburg, Ohio, and okay. uh, we make everything in-house. So as you come into our venue, you can see all this stuff in real action. Um, but more than that, you know, the haunted attraction side has many different levels from, you know, historical to the worst kind of fear that you can imagine. Cool. How'd you get started? Uh, about... 30 years ago collecting small things as a kid and then it grew into this weird thing where you had to have a whole venue to do it. So, yeah. And uh, where's your, you got a storefront then? Yeah, oh yeah, we have, uh, there's about 20 stores at our, oh, wow. our venue. There's uh, bars, restaurants. Uh, awesome. Yeah. And we do live the... music, Gatlin guns, cannons, you know, <laughs> blank firing guns. Sounds great. Where's yeah, the, do you have one in Cincinnati? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's That's located great. in Williamsburg, Ohio. So it's uh, about 40 Ohio. minutes from where you're at right now. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Let's check it out sometime. Absolutely. I'm from Iowa, but so I, hey, get, but okay. I get over here quite a bit for these things. That's so. freaking awesome, man. Yep. You're going to have to come out to the attraction. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. No, we don't actually do that kind of material. Yeah, that's an homage, but in our video, it's all from the tomb area. From the tomb area. Bring any copy with the characters in it. Awesome. You got a business card or something? Well, that kind of wraps up uh, day two at the actual convention center. Then we had a little surprise when we got back to the hotel. And then uh, we went over to the after party to see the Jasons. Didn't see the other band because it's taking forever for them to get started. So we just went back to the hotel to crash. This is kind of a new one. Power's out at the hotel. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. So we can get into the room, had to reprogram the key. Not sure what we're going to be doing because I don't know. There's no power. We're supposed to go over to this after party. Uh, a couple bands, the Jasons, four guys that put Jason masks on and play music and Twizzed, a clown based group. Hopefully the power comes back on cause that won't be fun. So I bought a uh, mystery box at Horror Hound, so we're gonna open this maybe. I set up the tripod bad considering the price of stuff there uh not sure what all would be in here looks like a shirt that's gonna be too small for me what do we got here yeah that's pretty sweet little decoration with a zombie on a gravestone yeah that's cool oh geez 28 bucks, 29 bucks, so, you know, pays for the box. Not that I ever would have paid $30 for that. What else we got in here? Let's see what this shirt says. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, wow. Haunted house at Waverly Hills. <laughs> Sorry, cats. <laughs> that's cool. I was actually wanting to kind of get a shirt from that place. Extra large. I said when I was coming back from uh, this convention, I needed to uh, start another weight loss journey. So maybe that would be my gold shirt. Looks like we got a Jeepers Creepers sticker, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And something with Halloween on it. Halloween uh, picture. Maybe I can get that autographed or something at an upcoming thing. But that was cool. Pretty cheap. 20 bucks. A shirt. A little statue thing. Yeah, I think that was worth it. Well, if you made it this far, 
thanks for watching the video. Oh wait, I'm gonna come right back to wrap up of the merch I got. Just a second. Okay, sorry if you see any cat hair in this part of the video. I'm on my couch here. Only got one autograph this time around. I don't know, there wasn't too many people I was interested in. Richard Mazur. Not sure how to say it. Adult stand from the 1990 It that was made for TV. Pretty sweet movie. I remember watching it when I was about 11 with my mom as it was on TV. Got this awesome Killer Clowns from Outer Space, signed by the artist. There you go. It was only 20 bucks, not too bad. Got a couple more fridge magnets here. Sorry for the reflection of the ceiling fan. Space balls, leprechaun, the shining. I don't think I had a shining magnet. Uh, my cousin's wife actually made me this pillow. Gave it to me. That was pretty cool. Thought I'd include that. And uh, she handed out some of her dolls to some of the celebrities. This is the one she made for me, Billy the Puppet. Got a Freddy Krueger and a It. Pennywise from her too. Pretty cool, but yeah, I you know I didn't spend much. On autographs, didn't buy much merch this time around. I don't know. Didn't see too much I couldn't live without. And I got so much stuff hanging around in here anyway. Hopefully I can find a frame for this. It's like 11 by 25 or something. But we'll see how that was cool. Thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe for me. Pretty close to that thousand subscriber mark. It'd be pretty sweet to get there. Now I need view hours. I only got like 1,100. I need 4,000 to monetize. So do that for me. Um, anyone watching from the Horror Hound fan site that I'm going to post this on? I got lots of uh, convention videos. And if you like cars and just generally messing around, got a lot of that stuff to you. Tastings. Just kind of a hodpod, hodgepodge on here on Uncle JoJo's house. And that's my cat. She makes it in almost every video. Have a good one.